Hi everyone, it's Ildi and I'm back with another dog related video. This time talking about dog boarding and dog walking and some of the tips that I have having been doing that for a little bit. So first I wanna say that it started off with someone in my uh, building at the time doing this almost full time making really good money. Um, just watching other people's dogs. Um, she had the setup where she was able to have um, multiple dogs, which is how you really make money off it. Um, multiple dogs at the same time with the with the setup um, I am not that confident in having multiple dogs so I I don't and I didn't um, but she was doing that so um, one time she had a dog that I guess the owner was out of country and she couldn't come back and they were going out of country so she asked me to watch this dog Teddy and I'll insert his picture I love Teddy he was a big Akita he was a and she beautiful she was amazing. Um, so I watched Teddy and I mean, it, I came with instructions. They gave me food. They gave me every, all the information I needed. And I just basically had a dog, uh, for two weeks and she was amazing. Um, so she really put the idea in my head of like, if you don't want to make the commitment to having your own dog, why don't you watch other people's dogs, get to know different breeds and kind of go from there. But what happened is I got attached to the Akita and I said, I want my own dog. I don't want a dog sit. So I put that thought on hold and I got Charlie and then I'm like, oh, I'll just dog sit with Charlie. And Charlie would not have any other dog in there, his apartment. So that was scrapped very, very quickly. So um, I put everything on hiatus until Charlie passed away in 2018 and so then I'm like, okay, I need a dog in my life because I'm used to having a dog and I miss dogs so dearly. Um, why don't I go and do this again? So I signed up for Rover, um, which became the new app. Um, I think it didn't exist before. Anyways, it was called, it's called Rover. Um, and I signed up as a dog uh, boarder and dog sitter. Um, and the, the app and the website is very intuitive. It walks you through how you set it up, if you have your own dog, which services you want to offer, which services you don't want to offer, how many dogs are your, is your maximum and minimum, um, and how much are you charging. You write a little blurb about yourself, put up pictures. It helps if you have other people review you before who have who you've worked with. Like say you babysat a dog from your friend or someone, even that review really helps. Um, so I set everything up. Um, so one of my tips is to see what other dog boarders, walkers, whatever services you offer are charging in your area. Um, because every area is very different. Um, some can get away with $60 a day. Some can charge hundred something a day and some areas you just, you know, 20, 30. So make sure you do your research and see what other people are doing around in your area. I really lowballed it and it took someone else going like, can you like, you should up your, your prices because you're making uh, the rest of us look back, so to speak. She said it much nicer, but, um, yeah, so definitely, I mean, I would say start lower by a few dollars, not much. Um, and definitely incrementally, uh, you know, review it and um, increase your price regularly. Don't be afraid to charge more. Um, the way that they do it is that someone reaches out to you and say, can you watch my dog between this time and this time? And you have a calendar where you write your availability and you say, okay, yes, I can watch, you know, I'm available at that time. But my tip number two is make sure you do a meet and greet. Um, to get a vibe for the dog, to really ask questions, and to get a vibe for the people. Um, having had a dog with behavior issues, I mean, I ask, does your dog bite? And you'd be surprised how many people are like, well, he only bit once and he didn't really, you know, do this and this. They're not going to disclose that in their little application. So make sure you meet with them and you ask the question. I also recommend, um, in the end, I... In the beginning, I wasn't comfortable with them getting coming to my house. I would meet out and we walk around. Um, and of course, it's COVID time, so it's a little bit different. But it helps when the dog comes over and the people see your space. Um, I, I'm very upfront and I said, I live in a, you know, a very tiny place. Are you okay with your dog being here? Um, I have furniture 
um, there's not as much ground space. So if you're not okay with your dog being on furniture, like this may not be the best spot. So make sure you do a lot of um, like that you meet meet with them and you have those difficult conversations. I've had quite a few meet and greets where we both amicably say, either they say, you know what, we found someone else or I don't think it's a good fit. And I have said, you know what, I'm not willing to take on, you know, this right now. For whatever reason and it, it's been really great like amicable and everything else so make sure you do your meet and greets you get a feel for the dog um some dogs the the owners are like i'm ready to, for someone to watch my dog but the dog is like still super shy um i think some people were like i just got this rescue but i need someone to watch him well the dog hasn't even settled with you like this is not going to be the best idea maybe i don't say that to them but i don't take the dog on to you know um it's going to be much difficult uh rover is great because they're insured they're insured so if there's any issues you don't have to um you know get your own insurance which ca can cost quite a bit i did my research on that so i was like you know what it's worth it through them but they do take a cut so when you're doing your prices tip number three um keep in mind that the um that rover does take a, a percentage and i can't remember what it is now but you can look look it up and kind of do your math to see what you would like to make and how much they're taking from you. Um, I set up a PayPal, so all the payments go to that, and it's it's great. Um, any other tips would be really to engage with the customer or the client. Um, regular pictures, uh, being honest, everything from your, you know, did the dog poop? Did the dog pee? Um, any interactions um, with the dog? Any other dogs? Um, just make sure that you give them all the information and that you're upfront. It's better to, you know, cancel things and say, you know, this time doesn't work for me um, than to scramble the day of. Um, also, number tip number four, cancellation policy. Uh, mine is quite open, but it has screwed me up in the past because they cancel last minute. Um, and then you don't get any of the uh, of the money. Whereas if you have like a stricter cancellation policy, either they won't cancel or you get at least a few dollars out of that. So these are just some of my tips. Um, I don't know if you dog walk or dog board or interested. This is a, such a great way to get going on it without the hassle of getting your own branding per se, getting your own um, insurance and everything else. And I was just, I was booking like, you know, I was pretty booked up for months of like either a few dogs to walk, plus I have a dog that's boarding with me, plus all of this. So um, you can make quite a bit of money if you live in a house, you know, um, it might be even easier because you have multiple rooms where you can have multiple dogs. Um, you can do just the daycare, you can do just boarding, you can do just walking, you can do drop in, you, there's a lot of options. And it's just such an easy way for the people to book because there's an app and for you to schedule to update your calendar um, for cancellation, like it just makes everything so much easier. So I think you could definitely do a pretty decent business at least for a bit before, you know, maybe you establish your own clientele and then um, venture on, on your own. So if you're thinking of doing Rover or dog sitting, dog boarding, this is a great way to start and congratulations and good luck. If you have any questions or other tips, write them below. I'm happy to also um, answer any questions. All right, till next time. Bye guys.